Hi, this is Don from uh, GrumpyGeek.com and I wanted to kind of share with you what I have been working on which is a tangential drag knife um, but I also wanted to see if anyone has any, any answers so kind of go, going to go backwards in this video so I made this tangential knife uh, got it all hooked into Linux CNC so I can spin the blade around with the motor um, but what I haven't found is any software um, that lets me control it well. So, um, so I know Mach 3 has uh, the ability to control a tangential knife. I don't have Mach 3. I'm running Linux CNC and have been doing so for about seven years now so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it because well it's free. Um, but if it comes down to it I'll go ahead and spend the money and get uh, Mach 3 maybe and and try it. So uh, if that comes to it. Um, I also know there's a plugin for Inkscape, uh, G-Code, something G-Code Tools I think it is. And uh, I've tried that, but the problem I have with that is every time I try to run a path that I've generated with the G-Code tools, um, I get cannot do G1 with zero feed rate. So um, I'm not quite sure how to fix that. I, I think it has something to do with modifying the G-Code. Um, so I'm going to ask for some help there and, and see. Um, so anyway, I, I can't get the programs to run. I think it's configured right and everything. So I'm going to run backwards here. I'm going to bring up... Um, I'm going to bring up the config wizard so you can see that I have uh, managed to configure it so it at least spins. So on my A axis, um, I have it 200 steps per revolution, uh, micro stepping is set to 2, there's 15 teeth on the pulley, lead screw pitch, I have it 360. I'm not sure if that's right, but it seems to work. I have the maximum velocity set to 720 and the maximum acceleration set to 2400. So when I run the test, um, when I run that, um, can, oh, okay, so that's just the test. I'm sorry, the test. So if I jog it, um, you can see that I can jog it back and forth at a good speed. And uh, let me set the test area to, let me do like a 360 on the test area and hit the run. So that is uh, 360. Seems like it's going twice, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I messed up the config some, but anyway, so I can figure that out once I get G-code running. Um, so if I cancel that, you can see that it runs. Um, and so let me go ahead and back out the video and I'll show you how it is constructed a bit. Alright, so you can see that I have um, a mount for a stepper motor to go up against my router. So the router is acting as bearings for the dragon knife. So the uh, stepper motor is on a, it can be basically adjusted, pulled back to tighten up the belt. So I'm going to loosen four screws and that'll bring the belt forward. So I'm going to take the belt off. So this is an XL 120 belt. Um, and I am going to slide this off the router. Um, so. Yeah, so, all right. So you can see this is a stepper motor that I had just uh, spare that I've had from past projects. Uh, horrendous wiring. Don't pay attention to that, but it works. Um, so the motor can slide up and down the bracket. So that's how we tighten up the the belt. Um, I mounted the pulley to the bottom of the motor or the back shaft of the motor and mounted it upside down because uh, that was the only way I could get the alignment for this particular motor and set up to, to line up. But you can see that the belt lined up all right with that. So, so there's not a whole lot of like, anything special that it. it's a bracket mounts the motor up. Um, so this is the tangential knife. Um, so we have a pulley that is mounted onto a quarter inch bolt that I cut down. I think it was like a three and a half inch, maybe four inch bolt. And then I have this printed tangential knife that I put together on the bottom. Um, and that is my own design because um, I did find a design on uh, Thingiverse. I just wasn't quite happy with it for my purposes. It was probably fine, um, but I wanted something a little different. So anyway, you can see that's the, the knife and the assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pulley off. So this is an XL30 pulley with a quarter inch bore that I got off of eBay. Um, my actual plan was to 
bore this out and it was for a rotating nut that I was going to try to design. But So you can see the bolt and it's hooked to the uh, printed knife so I'll go ahead and loosen that up and take it out. So not a lot of anything there. So the reason I have to show you the original knife I found on Thingiverse, um, I don't have the rights, I'll, I'll try that in the comments. But So this is what I originally found and printed off of Thingiverse. And it's, it's fine, it actually fits the blade really well. Uh, it was designed as a drag knife, that, uh, or part of a drag knife that was kind of like the Dynac knife and is just supposed to swivel around based on the uh, G-code movements. Um, the one thing I had is I wanted to tap it, um, the, the top here, drill it out and tap it, and it just wasn't parallel. Uh, up and down of uh, the way they designed it so I wanted to write, make my own that was so that I could easily tap and drill it so I made this one looks kind of funky um, it's a little more robust as far as the amount of plastic in it um, but more importantly to me that the top uh, and bottom edges were parallel so I could easily um, drill straight down and tap it so so there's really not a whole lot to it you saw you know so basically I have a bolt I attach the knife to it I put a pulley on it Put it up into the spindle, tighten it down so the spindle is your, your bearings, and then you know you mount the stepper motor with a belt to, to provide the motion. So that's really it. So if someone is more familiar with G-code uh, or, or G-code tools or has a um, different set of tools that I could use, uh, I would be interested. I'm also kind of wanting to get into learning the Arduino and Raspberry Pi CNC controls. Uh, I've been kind of holding back on that just because I'm familiar with the ones that run off the parallel port. Um, and I didn't really have a desire to start digging in, but uh, obviously you can put together stuff pretty easily and cheaply with those newer alternatives. So um, if you guys know of any setups that use the Raspberry Pi or Arduino, um, like Gerbil and those things, um, that can control a, a, a tangential knife, um, that would be fine too. It would give me an excuse to go ahead and learn those things. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for taking a look at it, and uh, maybe you have some answers for me. Thanks a lot. Bye.